Hello folks, Photomob here. Good afternoon. Hey, it's August 14th and um, I'm here at my wood pile and I'm going to take some uh, moisture readings on this coming winter's firewood. So, as you can see, right here, this is the end of my wood pile and it consists of it's six rows deep right now it's only five actually only four but um, once it gets a little bit cooler this uh, summer fall I will um, finish that off the uh, final two rows so these three these uh, three rows of firewood here will be this year so what I have it's cut 16 inches so I have three rows makes it four foot 35 feet in length all the way down there and four foot high well sort of so that's what my goal is I always try to stack it four foot high and you know sometimes I don't get quite four foot but it's close to four foot so 35 feet by four foot by four feet is equal to 560 cubic feet of firewood and 560 divided by 128 128 cubic feet is a cord i got 4.375 so let's call it 4.4 cords of wood for this coming winter so what i did is I got a uh, piece of wood out of each row, various species, and we're going to see um, what the moisture content is for these different types of wood. On this first row, I have, uh, I think this is a uh, white oak here. I'm not sure, but I think it's oak of some kind. Came from a pin oak tree. Most of it is ash. And here is a piece of that ash. I'd say it's approximately 2 by 4 by 16. So we'll split that one open. Out of the second row, I have a piece of walnut. And it's about 1.5 inches by 4 inches by 16, maybe uh, 18 inches long. Then I think what I have here, this came out of row three. It was split this uh, spring, uh, probably around April, May. And uh, it's cherry. I think it's cherry by the way it's gotten real red in color. And it's very light. Right now it is very light, which is good. And then I think I have a piece of uh, red oak and it was split in the April May time frame probably the May time frame and uh, it's been drying since spring so it's in row three also so what I'm gonna do is split these off camera then I'll come back and uh, take a moisture reading outside and inside Okay, folks, I have the results. So I split each of those pieces of wood. And, uh, boy, the sun has really popped out again. So this is the uh, moisture meter that I used. Um, A.W. Perkins Company Firewood Moisture Meter. I don't know if it's any good or not. Uh, it's what I bought. Here's some results, folks. The ash has a uh, moisture content on the outside of 16%, inside 19%. My walnut, it has an outside moisture content of 6%, inside 19%. The, what I think is cherry, but it may not be, uh, outside moisture is 6%, inside 24%. Ooh. Would I burn it? You know, I would. Um.
So I don't know why it's and the oak or what I'm calling oak has an outside moisture content of 13% and the inside is 20%. Now I'm really surprised by that because it feels like it's the heaviest, which kind of makes sense. Oak is a heavy wood. Um, but the outside was 13. I was expecting to see higher moisture content. So that makes me feel good about my firewood being ready for uh, the season, this upcoming heating season. Half of August, all of September, October, we still should get some uh, good drying days. And November, end of November, I'll probably start um, burning the, uh, the wood. November, December. I try to hold off as long as possible. I don't have anything else, folks. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the below. Again, I'm not an expert on burning firewood. So like I was saying, I'm new to uh, burning firewood relatively. I don't have the years and years and lifetime of experience uh, burning firewood. When I was a kid, we heated our home with a uh, uh, hot air natural gas furnace. And then, um, yeah, after that I was in the military and, you know, the heat was in the building and never was an issue except for when we were living in tents and I don't want to go into all that so <laughs> y'all have a good day this is Boda Bob we're going to wrap this thing up all you professionals out there you know what to do smash that like button subscribe comment down below and share it with a friend thank you very much until next time cheers